Hey guys, I'm Justin Boggs, the co-founder and chief revenue officer of Marketplace Valet. We have been an Amazon seller since 2006 with over 400,000 reviews as a seller. I'm here to help you learn about Amazon, solve problems, and answer common questions. Today's video is about how to remove your user from an Amazon account. Let's get into it. As an agency handling multiple Amazon accounts, it's inevitable that over time you'll experience client turnover. Maybe the project has wrapped up or circumstances have changed. One thing that remains constant in these scenarios is the need to properly offboard yourself from the client's Amazon account. Removing a user from an Amazon account is an essential step to ensure that your agency's access is no longer linked to their seller central account. It's also an important practice to maintain security and reduce any unnecessary responsibilities on your end. Now, if you're in the position where it's time to remove yourself, you'll first need to access the account's user permissions. The process is quite simple. You'll head over to the user permission section in Seller Central. Once you're there, you'll find your user account listed and all it takes is a few clicks to remove it. You just delete your user access, confirm the action, and you're done. You'll no longer have access to the client's Seller Central. That's how smooth it can be, but things don't always go this easily. If you don't have access to user permissions or for some reason your permissions were restricted, you'll need to rely on the client to take action. This is where it can get a bit tricky. Clients aren't always the fastest to respond when it comes to administrative tasks, and sometimes they might be busy or even forget to remove you. In these situations, it's important to politely follow up. You can remind them of the importance of removing your user access to ensure their account stays secure. In fact, a good practice when you're offboarding a client is to include a step-by-step -step guide for them to follow in your final communications. This way, they know exactly what needs to be done to remove your access. You want to make it as easy as possible for them to take this step. A simple SOP, standard operating procedure, can go a long way. If for any reason they're unresponsive, you'll need to keep reaching out. It can be frustrating, but staying professional and patient is key. At times, even with all your efforts, there may be a situation where the client simply doesn't respond. This isn't common, but it does happen. When you hit that wall, you may be stuck with user access indefinitely if the client doesn't take action. While it's not ideal, the reality is that there's no one-size-fits-all solution to getting removed in those rare cases. So the main takeaway here is always ensure you're diligent during the offboarding process. Keep communication open with your clients, be clear about what steps they need to take, and remember that while most clients are happy to help, some may require a bit of persistence on your part to complete the process. If you have any questions, feel free to check us out at marketplacevalet.com. Like and follow us for more helpful Amazon content. Thanks for watching this video.